Hey guys, I did promise to do a grocery shopping haul and since it's the end of the month, there is no better time to do that. I do have a bag here. This bag costs 59 pence and you have to reuse your shopping bags because you pay for it. So if you don't come with your bags, when you get to the supermarket, you have to buy another bag. So save the world, save the planet, reuse your bags. Let's go. Like a light lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot Alright guys, I'm in here And I'm going to be starting with the bread section Because that is where I always start Always at the bread section And this is what it costs to buy wall buttons white toasty but this is not what i buy i would usually go for this okay this cost 99 pence so here it goes and this all wheat bread cost 99 pence as well It costs 25 pence for this crumpet. Uh, what else? So generally the things you see here are 69 pence, 65, 55, 44. Almost everything on that one pound. And here is one of my favorites. I whenever I come to this store, I always, always buy a brownie. Like it's a ritual at this point. This apples cost two twenty nine, two pounds twenty nine. Bananas cost sixty nine pence, seventy five pence, one pound. So depending on which of the bananas you're buying. I don't think I'll be buying cashew nuts today, but it's one pound thirty per hundred gram. Almonds one thirty per hundred gram. Same with the pistachios, oranges one pound fifty five, lemons twenty nine pence, sixty nine pence for pineapple. What else will I be buying today? Yeah, I want onions, so let me see. These are usually not the onions I buy. These are really tiny, but I don't think I have any other choice. So I'll just get this ones. I think they're so tiny, but this costs 62 pence for one kg. pence for carrots organic broccoli 95 pence organic carrots for 89 pence sweet ass cabbage for 47 pence but this is sweet and it's 49 pence I don't know what that is seriously I'll do my research when I get home but these are all very fresh fresh vegetables baby salad this looks so fresh i feel like picking some of that but i don't know lettuce cost 63 pence celery 43 pence beetroot one pound 29 
This family pack potatoes cost £1.49. I always, always buy these tomatoes. Always. And this family pack peppers costs 96 pence. This is the confectionery cereal slash soft drink section. I won't be picking up anything here. But this is Belgian chalk seashells for £2.69, £2.99, £1.49, £1.49, dark chocolate for 45 pence. Just look at that. Look at that. It This took my overnight oats game to the next level. Like, my oats are like splendid. So, I'm going to buy this again. It's it, called Linseed Mix. It has goji berries, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds. And it's great for baking in breakfast and smoothies. This is very nice. Although, I don't think I bought this particular flavor the other time that I was here. But I bet this is going to be just as nice. This is mixed chia seeds. I still have one of this at home. Actually, I have this one. So I don't think I'll be buying this one this time around. This costs £1.25. And this oats costs 75 pence. So the things on this aisle, on the confectionery slash cereal slash soft drinks aisle, costs under £3. This cereals cost £1.15, £1.59, £1.89, £1.69, pence, pounds fifteen. So everything here under £2. Yep, and we're on this soft drink section. This Diet Coke, this 2 litre Diet Coke cost 39 pence. Sometimes they switch what's on the aisle because I remember the last time I was here, this food colouring was not on this aisle it was on the third aisle but now it's here and i don't think i need any of it basically your baking needs are here everything you need to bake you can find it on this aisle there's sugar brown sugar caster sugar definitely going to be buying plain flour the one i have at home is almost finished so i'm going to be buying this it costs 45 pence 12 free range large eggs cost £1.75 I would normally buy simply I buy a lot of simply products by the way so this extra virgin olive oil costs £2.99 the prima donna olive oil costs £2.39 but Balsamic vinegar costs one pound twenty-nine. This vegetable oil costs one pound nine pence. I don't eat couscous. Maybe I'll try it. No, I've tried it before. I've tried couscous. I don't think I liked it the day that I tried it. Um, I don't know if I should try it again. I think I'll pass today. I love this seasoning. Oh my god. Faita seasoning. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it only costs 17 pence for this. I have a bag of this. This is 10 kg for £10.99. This is basmati rice. I have one of these, so I won't be buying rice today. And if you prefer the long grain easy cook rice, that is 95 pence. While the long grain brown rice is 85 pence. You can find a lot of spices on this aisle tomato spices chili traditional cooking sauces pasta sauce bolognese sauce everything on this aisle for the cooking sauces is below two pounds as a matter of fact most of the 
sauces here are below one pound but you have this sauce here for one pound 19 almost everything here is below one pound for sauces i love this simply chopped tomatoes it's 28 pence i'm going to pick two of these and there's another tomato sauce that i'm looking for it's not here i think it's finished i tried this pasta and it was so delicious so delicious it's just 95 pence and i'm going to be picking maybe two of this this is barressa spaghetti and it's 42 pence while this is 95 pence this is obviously more expensive but like i said it was very yummy very delicious so I'm trying it again just directly opposite the cooking sauces you have your fresh lamb fresh pork fresh chicken and fish I think this is a bit pricey and in my next vlog I'll be doing grocery shopping in an African store maybe you can compare prices but I think this is a bit pricey if you guys are enjoying this video so far give it a thumbs up it's breaded mini fillets for £2.25 salt and fried gojuns for one pound 49 you can already tell that i don't buy you know what is on this top aisle <laughs> there's salt and fried chicken steaks four breaded chicken steaks for one pound 69 the fridge is pretty empty today i don't know they need to stock up blueberries for one pound 29 british strawberries for one pound 79 wild rocket salad for 47 pence strawberries for one pound 59 blueberries two pounds 49 okay i'll take this strawberries it's two pounds 19 pence let's see take this one you have asparagus for one pound 29 green beans for 69 pence raspberries for two pounds 65 spinach for one pound 29 kale for 45 pence mushrooms for 99 pence i think i'll buy mushrooms spring onions for 37 pence i'm gonna have one of that club sandwich for one pound 99 pineapple chunks for one pound 99 and you can see all the pricing right there everything on this aisle is below three pounds we have some salads here coleslaw for 69 pence all these are ready to eat you can pop some in the microwave or you can have some cold like this salad so everything here is the things here ready to eat and if you just look through the if you go around the supermarket you find a lot of ready to eat meals but i like to cook my food fresh sometimes i buy the ready to eat meals but like 95 percent of the time i'm doing my own cooking this is 99 pence this sushi selection costs one pound 69 but it has fish veg duck and chicken i don't know what it is about sushi the first time i tried it i did not like it at all but maybe i'll give it a try again this is the household and laundry section you have your cling film for one pound nine pence kitchen foil for one pound 79 Paper napkins for 99 pence, batteries, refuse sacks, £1.75, heavy duty refuse sacks for £1.99, £2.99, baking paper, £1.69, swing bean liners for 85 pence, I have one of these, food bags for 99 pence.
this is the spices section everything under one pound you have all sorts here all sorts no i think this is our last time this is youtube channel yes <laughs> thank you It's five pence for this sweet corn. Um, so you have your greens here, mixed vegetables, sixty-nine pence, seventy-nine pence, fifty-nine pence for broccoli. It's five pence for a bag of sweet corn. British garden peas. It fifty-nine pence. I think I have this at home. So I would not be buying this today. If there is one thing the British people are known for, it is fries. I've had so much fries since I got here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not tired yet. So I'll take this quality fries. Really like it. It's just 98 pence. You have custard here for 84 pence. I'll just have one of these. This is another pizza section, 99 pence, 99 pence, 79 pence. You have dried mango, interesting, never bought that before. The ice cream section. Look at this fine display of nuts, pecan nuts. Californian almonds for £1.85, cashew nuts for £1.59. Remember on the other aisle, I could measure the cashew nuts or the pistachios that I wanted, but this one's come in a pack and the brand is Alesto. I like these guys. I've had their nuts, very nice. Walnuts, mixed nuts, all sorts of nuts. Which nuts will I be buying today? There's Brazil nut here. Everything under £2 except the Californian walnuts. So let's see let's see i'm gonna try pecan nuts yup look at the wine section here
I'm back home now and in total I spent 60 pounds 23 pence what do you guys think do you think the food items here are expensive i'm curious to know what is the cost of food items in your country wherever it is you're watching from i went to the supermarket with four bags and i came back home with four fully loaded bags for 60 pounds and 23 pence and i think that that food will last us for two weeks it's just the two of us myself and my husband it will last us for two weeks maybe even more there are some items in there that will last us for more than two weeks definitely of course visit tesco visit asda visit all of those stores every once in a while i go there but i think in my opinion that lidl is one of the cheapest supermarkets to shop at i also heard that if you go to the supermarket from 7 pm the prices are a lot cheaper because they don't want to keep food till the next day so they slash the prices try that out and let me know how it goes Please let me know in the comments what you think about this video. Do you love it? Did you enjoy watching? What do you think about the prices? Do you think things are expensive here? In my next video, I'm going to be shopping at an African store. So stay tuned for that. And that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss any content from me. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.